Hey guys, it's Gadget Guru HD here, and today I'm going to tell you what Apple needs to change and improve on in their iOS 6 and all of their operating systems in general to stay ahead of the curb. Right now, they're pretty much lacking in a lot of things that other operating systems do have, which include widgets, customizations, and other things like that. So I'm going to share five things with you that Apple needs to improve on or either add to their operating systems. Number one is widgets and customizations. Right here, I have the HTC Incredible and also the um, iPhone 4. And a lot of you guys might think that I'm not a real big Apple guy, but I actually do. I own a uh, iPad 2, iPhone 4, but and also the uh, I can't remember what year. I think it was like four years ago. The first aluminum MacBook. Original MacBook, no, not the Pro. So I did fall in love with Apple around like four years ago, and I had Verizon. Was thinking about switching to AT and T, but figured I'd just wait until the iPhone 4 came out. And I was in line waiting the day it came out. So this right here, iPhone 4. Also the iPad 2. Now Apple has a lot going for it, especially with mobile me, the sharing, and basically the idea of when you have an, a MacBook, you kind of feel the need that you have to get an iPhone 4, iPhone 5, you have to get the phone, and then you say, you know what, if I'm going to get a tablet, it might as well be an iPad, since I already have Apple products. So some of the things that Apple needs to change about its OS is um, widgets and customizations. That's number one. This right here, pretty bland, and it just isn't in general. No widgets. All you got really, the only thing they have is folders. Basically, all the Apple operating system is is an app launcher. This is an HTC Incredible. Came around, came out around the time of the iPhone 4 launch on Verizon, and this right here has so much more than the iPhone. has widgets. It has um, right here another widget, control Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, sync, and all that stuff. So, I mean, you even got old phones like these where Apple still isn't even caught up to Android on even its gingerbread platform. And this right here is iOS 6, so there isn't really much. Number two is live wallpapers. Again, another thing that you can add on into customizations. iOS 6 or any of the Apple operating systems don't have live wallpapers. All they got is solid wallpapers, which even by itself isn't much because you got a whole app page full of icons and folders you can't even you can barely even see what the wallpaper even is so it's not really much of a step forward from even the black screen that, that used to be in the background number three got more third-party options and Amazon APKs or just APKs in general and the Amazon App Store Android completely open you guys can probably tell by now I'm kind of a pro Android but it's great to see and nice to hopefully see that Apple might follow some of these tips that pretty much everybody has been asking and pretty much begging for over the last couple of years so they really just need these third party options Apple itself is pretty pretty locked down and doesn't really support it doesn't support at all um, downloads from websites like Foreshared or things like that where if you just wanted to test out an app on the App Store you can't just buy it and get a refund in 15 minutes just to test it out and see whether you like it so you go and spend a dollar which might not seem a lot but it can just add up if you're gonna say oh I think I'm just gonna try this app and if there's no free version you're pretty much stuck just wondering what it's like. At least with downloading APKs and stuff, 
you can just get a feel for it and then say, you know what, I'm just going to go download this app from the App Store that I already tested out, know that I like, and know that's going to get updates directly from the developer. Another thing is, number four, change the operating system. It is the same thing. Again, the only notable changes between the original Apple operating system and iOS 6 is Siri and folders, wallpapers, nothing else really major. Um, maybe mult what Apple so-called multitasking, which isn't even multitasking, multitasking. Number five, give the user the ability to make the phone slash OS theirs. Okay, on my Galaxy Nexus, don't have it with me right now, but on my Galaxy Nexus, my Galaxy Nexus doesn't look anything like stock Android. I made my Galaxy Nexus mine. I made it exactly the way that I liked it. You can put, you can change the app image. Say I don't like brightness. You see that flashlight app right there? You can change that to say flashlight. You can change so much stuff. There's no, you're not allowed on iPhone or any iOS operating system to change the app icon. Say you want to change that settings icon right there. Not allowed. Say you want to take, you see where it says maps, weather notes, say you wanted to take that off. Not allowed to do that. There's no third party launchers, nothing like that. No, I guess another thing I could have said to that uh, Apple changed was the notification bar. Drop down, see that? But you, when you turn on your iPhone and your friend turns on your iPhone, on their iPhone, it's practically the same thing. Without turning the phone on, maybe you guys have different wallpapers. <laughs> Whoops. But, I mean, the phone still is, it's the same thing, just a different wallpaper, maybe different organization of the screens. But, I turn on my HTC Incredible, my friend turns on his. You're going to be able to tell a huge difference between widgets, how the dock is set up, whether you even have a dock, whether you have Jelly Bean on it, flash a ROM, put Jelly Bean on it, or your friend is still running Gingerbread and hasn't even rooted their uh, phone. So many different customizations. Those are the five reasons why. Apple needs to change their oper iOS operating system. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Gadget Guru HD. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Have any questions or comments, definitely contact me either on my blog or in the comments. Thanks for watching. Gadget Guru HD, over and out.